An unusually strong winter storm has left many Texas residents stranded in low temperatures without power and water. Freshman Elle Schrader only remembers it ever snowing twice while she grew up in San Antonio. December 7th, 2017, I remember that, and it was like maybe maybe three, four inches of snow. So it wasn't that much. Like it was melted by 11 a.m. the next morning. Um, and then it snowed actually on my birthday this year, January 10th. Um, and that even that it like wasn't even enough to make the ground white. It was, so it was barely anything. So it's never actually like stormed like this. Schrader's been keeping up with the blizzard from her apartment in Malibu, but class of 2020 alum Amber Jaycox in Austin and the graphics perspective editor Anaz Mangula in Houston shared Wednesday afternoon just how things were looking. A lot is unknown about how long this is going to last. In a total, we've had 30, 53 hours um, with no power um, in our neighborhood, and it's very strange because um, just a few, like a block down or the, like the people behind our homes do have power. So it's very strange how the power grid is working in terms of who it chooses to have electricity and who it doesn't. Jaycock said she and her family had gone to a nearby relative's house for their working fireplace after her own home thermostat reached 35 degrees. Mongula sought heat and internet in the parking lot of a Starbucks to keep up with his schoolwork. And I did like my senior leadership meeting, my budget meetings. I just types up some notes for class and I'm doing it all from the safety of my car and my heater. Lack of power and heat aren't the only issues. Leaks and frozen pipes mean that many residents don't have running water. Amber's family has used pots and pans with water to flush toilets. We're running out of gas. Grocery stores are out of food. I've heard of people um, yesterday waiting in line at the grocery store for two and a half hours. The line was what looked like a mile long. I don't know if it was a mile long, but it looked very, very long, and there was easily 500 people in line. Officials are warning residents in some Texas counties to boil any available tap water before drinking due to sanitation concerns. Uh, we're eventually going to need some better answers to uh, why we're here and how we prevent it from ever happening again. Uh, but for right now, we're just trying to get water, water to our neighbors. You know, it's, it's very, very crazy, and we're all just holding on 